Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your advanced dumbbell workout. So in this workout, we're gonna use a set of dumbbells. If you have a couple sets, you can alternate between weights and we will work the entire body using some more advanced moves. So as always, I will give you different options depending on your fitness level, but this workout in general is gonna be a little higher intensity and a little more advanced. All you need for this workout is one set of dumbbells and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so let's start just with a little march. We're gonna roll through those shoulders. So as usual, it's going to be a dynamic warm up to get the blood flowing, get the muscles warm. We will do a little bit more of an extensive warm up here since the art, these are a little more extensive moves. Big deep breath in and out. So we'll just add a few more movements to our warm up. One more and then take it out wide, lean hip to hip, roll the shoulders just to go through those movements a little bit more to prep our body before we jump right into these advanced dumbbell moves. Roll through your back. So of course, everybody is at different fit fitness levels, so maybe these will feel advanced for you. Maybe for some of you, you've done them before. Maybe they'll even feel easy. My hope is that it's just a different type of challenge than what you're used to if you're doing my videos for a while. Roll those shoulders and that you get that variety. As we always talk about, variety is key for confusing your body and then that's how we adapt, that's how we grow. Walk your feet in. Of course, if you have your favorite workouts, totally fine. You can keep doing that, but just try to mix it up enough that you're still challenging your body in new and different ways, right? Reach it over and breathe. I'm gonna be mixing it up. I have my 12s, my 10s, and my eight pound dumbbells. So I'm gonna be mixing it up and switching between those depending on what we're doing, hamstrings to the back. You do what is best for you. You know, I always say, if you showed up today, you are successful. I want you to be where you are today. So if you only have one set of dumbbells, that's totally fine. If you do have access to something a little heavier or something else you just wanna keep close by, it's always a good idea. Squat it down, rotate it through. A lot of my videos, I would say most of my videos, just for simplicity's sake, I usually stick to one set of dumbbells or one kettlebell, whatever it is. And that's just because a lot of times I film multiple workouts in a day and I keep it a little lighter and also so there's not a lot of switching. But you certainly can. And then let's just lunge it back. So here to here, drop it down. You don't have to get that low, but I just want that nice, good stretch. Um, you certainly can, and I would recommend having a couple sets close by so you can switch it up. If you need to, if something feels too easy, grab those heavies, too light huh, or too hard, switch it, right? Take it here, hold, little stretch, and back here, little stretch. One more each way. Last one, Woo! good, and then give yourself some space. We're gonna inchworm it out, walk it out, warming up through the spine, walk it back, high plank, walk it out, warming it up, walk it back. Whoo, two more, and that last one, we'll hold. One more, hold it here, and watch me here. Take the knees to the side. Take it out and back. You're just opening up that hip. One more each way. Good. And then walk it back all the way up to the center. Little toy soldier kick. Again, stretch it out to the front. My heart is already pumping and I'm already sweating and it's just the warm up. So here we go, guys. All right, so grab a quick sip of water. Like everything else I do, I will give you different options. So I will show you sort of a basic option that will still be pretty challenging, hopefully first, and then we'll move it through to the more advanced. So I'm gonna start with my tens. Let's take it here. So nice wide stance. I want you to think of it as a curl, and then you're racking it at the top into a squat. We're gonna start with that. So watch me here. You're gonna curl. 
hammer, squat it down, back to center, and here. So start here, curl, squat, up, and up. You're trying to get low in that goblet squat, rack those dumbbells at the top, curl, squat, keep it going. Let's go four more just like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that curl a little bit of a clean. So the clean is a power move. You're just getting a little more power with it. Don't think too hard on it. It looks pretty much the same. You just get a little power and momentum. Last one. Keep it there if you want, or it's a clean. Watch me. All the way down into it. Power up. So you get a little bit of a bounce. Just like this. Yes. So totally fine just to keep a curl, squat, and down, curl, squat. But if you can, clean. One fluid movement, a lot of power. Making sure you're not arching in that back, even though we're getting that little push. We're here. Keep it up. And breathe. Three more. Last two. One more. Watch me, I want you to take it all the way down in that low goblet squat. We're here, curl it up, curl it down, stay low. Up and down, heels down, chest up. I know it's burning, but you can do it. Four more, four, stay down there with me. Three, two, one, relax. So stretch your back out through there, Whoo, right? Breathe. Good. Let's get a little core in between. So one dumbbell, you can probably go with your heavier one. I'm gonna grab my 12. Make sure those are out of the way. It's a wood chop. So just like normal, you can start hip to shoulder. You know, I usually cue it this way, but if you can, I want you to power. Watch your back, very controlled. Join me here. You can be hip to shoulder or all the way down. Yes, good. Let's go eight, seven, breathe, good. Six, five, four, power through. Full body, turning into it. Two, one more. Good, and relax. We're gonna get the same thing other side before we move it on, we're gonna do that curl clean. Squat one more time but we'll mix it up. Here we go. Hip to shoulder if you want. Join me when you're ready. Starting here or all the way through. Here we go. Down and down and up. So again, if you're feeling too much in your back or your shoulders, totally fine. Keep it at that hip. That's fine. Breathe. Good. And up. Four more, four, three, two, one more. Yes, relax, good. Catch your breath. We're gonna go back to that curl and that squat or clean and squat. This time we're gonna turn them in. So bend your knees to get them and let's take our toes out. So it's a little bit more of a sumo. So it's a little trickier with that clean, but you can still do it. So start here. We're up, racked, squat, up and down, nice and slow. Up, regular curl, sit low in that sumo or regular, up. You can keep it here or a little bit of a clean. Here we go. And breathe, a little power. And breathe, and breathe, you got it. And yes, rack them at the top, fluid motion, clean it up. You get some power from your feet. Good, chest up, keep it going. And up and low, totally fine to take it slower, especially if you feel like you're arching that back because we don't want to go there. And breathe, four more right here. 
four, and breathe. Three, good. Two, last one, and relax, good. Tap it out, bend your knees to drop those dumbbells, grab a sip of water. I'm hoping that your heart rate is up. We're not gonna do a ton of cardio intervals like we do in some because, as you can hear, this kind of work should get your heart rate up. It's still hit. It's still interval training where we're going up and down. Remember, I always say heavier weights burn more calories. Certainly, <laughs> if you need more cardio, you can keep that jog. It's up to you while I talk you through your next move. Heaviest set of dumbbells if you got them. It's a deadlift into a row. So watch me here, you know it. We're gonna start two feet. Roll those shoulders back, soft knees, hinge at the hips, dumbbells stay close to the front of the legs, just past those knees, row wide at the bottom, and then bring it up. Take it down, row wide, join me here. Here we go. Down, wide row. We're gonna start wide because we're gonna get that other row. Let's go four more just like this. Warm it up, getting a feel for that move, right? Down, good, and here. Flat back, squeezing those shoulder blades, one more. So you can stay right here, or one foot back, one foot up, one leg, here we go. Down, wide row, it's a lot of balance. If that feels like too much, you keep that two-handed, or you keep that back leg on the ground. We call that a kickstand lunge. That's okay too, just really keep that good form, especially in that row, especially on all of it. But <laughs> let's go here. Yes, good. Down, there's that balance, right? Keep it going, adjust if you need to, just like I did, that's normal. Four, and up. Three, good. Last two, ah, what is wrong with my balance today? We'll stay here. Good, I want you to take it here. Take those dumbbells down on that one leg. Let's go down and push, down and push. And breathe, yes. Four more, four, three, two, one, relax, good, stretch it forward. Ha, ah, nice work guys, drop one dumbbell before we get that other side. It's a low windmill. We're gonna keep it a little bit of a breather, toe out, reach up, down for eight, here we go. So we're starting low because that's where you can come back to, drive that hip back, go down the front of the leg, slight bend but not much because you can always come back to this, our second set. We are going to put a dumbbell up top, right? I think we got one more, maybe that was nine. Who knows? Just kidding, I was counting. Here we go, other side. Don't call me on that, I'm watching my clock and I'm doing my internal counter, which is usually right. Here we go. If not, that's okay. Use this time, think of it as a stretch. Hip out, down the front of the leg. This is where we catch our breath. We're gonna go back to that deadlift, and then we're gonna do a regular row. Then we'll take it one leg, three more. Last two. One more. Good, super simple. All right, so turn to the other side, just for simplicity so you know where you are. This time, double row. Palms are in, bring it up here. Two feet to start, here we go. Down, row, and hinge. So flat back, really get a feel for that good form on the deadlift, shoulders back, hinge at the hips. It's not a squat, it's a hinge. Breathe, yes. Down and up, and breathe. Three more, yes. Last two, one more like this. You can keep it here or one foot forward, 
kickstand deadlift or all the way up with that row. Here we go. Take it down. Yes, it's going to throw your balance. That's on purpose. Keep that good form, especially thinking about that row. Keep it going. If you're here and you're good on here, but you're wobbly on the row, I want you to put that foot back in that kickstand. That's okay. You're still getting the same muscles. You just get a little more balance to keep that row good form. Down and up. Four more right here. Four. Good row. Kickstand or regular. Three. And up. Two. Last one. Good. Take it all the way down. Drop them down right here. Leg up. Slight bend. Take it down. And up. Down. And up. Yes. Good. Here we go for four, three, two, one. Relax. Little stretch right here, right in the inside. All right, back to that windmill. One high, one low. If you can go with those heavies, if you need to have a lighter one for your high one, that's okay too. Both sides for eight. Turn that toe out. One up, one down. Ready. Here we go, look up, spot that dumbbell. That's what we call that. Let me bring it back. It's tougher, you're still getting that flexibility and mobility of the shoulder, but if it feels like too much, drop that top dumbbell, just do the lower. Four, three, straight up. Two, last one. Bring it center, other side. Turn it here. Bring it up. Here we go. Drop it down for eight. Eight. And up. Seven. Six. Total precision. Even though our heart rate is hopefully down a little bit, we'll get that breather. Lots of strength, lots of flexibility. Three. Two. One more. I can tell, bend your knees to drop those, that I have less flexibility on this side. It's a little harder to keep it straight up. You can always tell which one goes closer to your shoulder, right? Usually your dominant arm, you have less flexibility. It's a little bit tighter. Okay, water if you need it. We're gonna go one heavy dumbbell. I'm gonna go in the middle with my tens. We're gonna start with just a high pull, and then we're gonna take it into a snatch. So if you've never done a snatch, don't worry, you can keep the high pull or you can try it. It's another power move like our clean, but we're gonna start with the high pull. Watch me here. Here, pull it up. So get a little power, little hinge here, elbow up. Let's go four more, one side. Four, three, elbow up high, two, one more. Watch my snatch, I'm here, down, Pull it all the way through. Try it. Down, power up. You get, again, you get a little momentum from the legs, from the feet. Power, big pull. Feels like too much? Keep it with that high pull. That works too. It's a little more controlled, but here you get the power all the way through. Snatch it. Four more. Four, three, two, one more. Good. I want you to hold that one up. Take that opposite leg forward. Watch me here. I'm gonna drop it down in that lunge, all the way down to a kneeling position. Same side right here. So I'm up and up, down and down. Up, up, down. Feels like too much? Just keep it here, nice and slow in the lunge. Up, four more like this. Nice and steady, just racked, core's in tight, it's offset, or press, lift up through the legs. Last two. Good. One more from the kneeling position, if that feels comfortable for you. And down, good. I want you to stay on that same side. You got this, guys. Watch me here. Make sure your dumbbells are out of the way. 
high pull or snatch into the lunge. Watch me here, here, here. Join me when you're ready. Start with that high pull to get a feel for the rhythm. Down, high pull if you can. Down, pull it up. Yes, you got it. Good, be where you are today. If that's that high pull, it's hard enough, right? Three, all the way up. Power, one more. I know, guys. Give that arm a break, right? It's a lot on one arm. It's offset, which is getting that core working. Heart rate's up. Can we get all of that on the other side? I think we can, all right? So, high pull to snatch, low lunge with the press, then we put them all together. So start here. Other side, zip up that core, make sure the weight's not pulling you. High pull with a little power. Ready, here we go. We see why that snatch works, right? Because it really gets the power, those power moves. Kettlebell swing is another one. We're gonna do a dumbbell swing in a minute. Really get a lot of heart rate too. Try it, snatch it, and breathe. Use a little jump through your legs. That's the thing, your legs are really helping you. High pull is fine too, if that feels better. And breathe, all the way up. Four more right here. Four, three, two, last one. Keep it up. Other leg forward, drop it down, bring it in, zip up that core, here we go. Press up and out, up in the lunge, down, bring it in. Watch my shoulder, here, 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 all the way in. Here, here, bring it in, here. Again, if you need to keep it racked, that's okay too. Take it nice and slow. Take it up. And breathe. Two more. Last one. Good. Relax. Yes. Breathe. All right, team. Same arm. High pull into the lunge. Let's start with that. Then if you want to make it that snatch, ready. Here we go. High pull. Lunge. Down. Keep it here if you want. We're all the way through. And breathe. It's a little bit of a jump or a little bit of power. Here we go. High pull is fine. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Who felt like their legs were gonna burn out? Me. Grab a sip of water. Nice work, team. I know, I told you these were a little bit more challenging. I hope you're enjoying them. Let's bring it up, guys. Speaking of swings. Let's take it with a dumbbell swing. I know those legs are tired. I know we're not getting much of a break. That's by design, right? A lot of upper and lower together to keep that hurried up. And then we'll take it down on the mat. We'll still get everything, but we'll get a little more of a core focus. All right, so you can have one heavy dumbbell, or even kettlebell if you'd rather, in the center like a kettlebell swing, power it up, drop it back. Or two heavy dumbbells with the skier swing. So it looks like this. Drive those legs back. Swing and relax. All right, guys, breathe. Just going for time. I don't want you to worry about it. I will cue you. Roll those shoulders back. Hinge at the hips. Power it back. Ready. Here we go. Yes. Good. And breathe. There we go. Keep it going. Eight. Seven. Lock out at the top. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, 
relax it down. Whoo, stretch it here. Nice work, team. All right, guys. So, two dumbbells or one. I'm gonna show you with two, so I'm gonna have to go a little lighter. Palms are forward, one foot forward. It's gonna be a wide raise coming out away from your body into triceps with our palms up. So watch me here. Bring it up behind your head. They're gonna burn. It's gonna be, feel a little bit awkward. You do what's best for you. If you need to drop it to one, I'll show you that too. Here we go. Wide, up, behind your head. Take it here. Up, behind your head. Looks like this. Squeeze in the back. Power. Yes. Here, here. If you need one, it's here. Looks very similar to our regular, but if you can, squeeze. Try to get it with that too. Take it up. Good. And breathe. I know, weird for the triceps, but try it. Four more. Here we go. Four. Behind your head. Three. Yes. Two. Last one. If you got heavier ones, just stick with one. It's okay. Nice work, team. All right, back to that swing. You got it. If you need to switch them out, regular swing, nothing fancy. Let's get it going. Get strong. Here we go. Power it back. Hinge it. Ski your swing. So locking out at the top, you're coming to a straight position right at the top, then drag those hips back. As you breathe out, push all that air out, squeeze in the glutes, squeeze in the back, squeeze in your core. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Ha ha. Awesome work, team. Okay, breathe. Here we go. So triceps again, this time, palms facing each other. So it'll look very similar, except I still want you to take it wide, squeeze in the back, power up, triceps. Here we go. So take it back, power up, triceps. Take it back, power up. So again, what I mean to the back, squeezing your back up and breathe, squeeze. So it's a little bit of a swing, but you're still getting the power. Elbows in, if you got something heavier, totally fine. Just to use the one up behind your head and down, up. Four more, here we go. Four, and breathe. Three. Last two. One more. Nice, team. Drop them down, stretch it out. We're gonna get more tries in chest when we are down on the mat. One last time with that swing. Skier with two or just one. I'm gonna go one just to be with some of you guys today. Here we go. Roll your shoulders, power it back, and up. You got it, it's a power move. Lock it out at the top. Squeeze, drop, squeeze, drop, eyes up. As your chest drops, you're still keeping it nice and open. Squeeze. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax it down. Good. <laughs> Stretch it here. Nice work, team. All right. Breathe. We are so close. Awesome, guys. Okay, so quick sip if you need it. We are gonna stay with those heavy dumbbells. And we are going to whew, <clears throat> get into a side lunge. So we're gonna go side lunge over to curtsy, right? But what we're gonna add is reverse fly or wide row, whatever you want, and then out with a curl, so a wide curl. So reverse fly, wide curl, on the side, on the curtsy. We're gonna take two reps to get into it, 
You might want to go a little lighter, but it's up to you. Two reps to get into it. Again, make sure you got some space. Here we go. So side lunge deep and curtsy. One more each way, just with the legs. So you're feeling it hip to hip. Here we go. Side lunge, reverse fly, wide curl. Side lunge, reverse fly, wide curl. We're only getting four more on this side. Here we go. Down or wide row. I got lighter so I can go reverse. If you got heavier, stay wide row like we did. And breathe. Two more. Tap it in. Last one. Tap it in. Here we go. Not too bad, right? Let's get the same thing, other side. And then we're gonna have one last burner move before we take it down to the mat. A bonus move, if you will. Here we go. Just so we get those lateral movements, we're not too worried. Start with just the legs. We'll add the upper, here we go. Side lunge, tap it through. Curtsy, yes. Side lunge, and curtsy. Here we go. Side, wide row, curtsy, curl. Side, wide row, curtsy, curl. Four more. Really get low into it. Squeeze in those shoulder blades. And breathe. Three. Good. Yes. Two. Last one. And relax, nice. Not so bad, right, compared to everything else? One dumbbell, guys. One little cardio shoulders, and then one last bonus move. I know, I said we had one more, but I forgot about this. All right, turn your body, hip square. Take it up, arm out, here we go. Pull it in, press it up, squeeze. I want you to think more about that squeeze than the press. If you just wanna be here, that's okay. Squeeze and up, squeeze and up or here, here, four more, yes, shoulders, four, three, two, one. Relax, right, ha, 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 ha. Breathe into that other side, turn your hips, arm out, arm up, here we go. Squeeze and up, squeeze. Again, I want you to think more about the core, so if you're here, that's okay, squeeze, crunch, side crunch. Yes, four, three, two, one, relax. All right guys, so grab your heaviest set of dumbbells. We're gonna take it down, but we're taking it up, all right? So this is your bonus move. We're just putting it before all the rest of the mat stuff because by the end, we're gonna be pretty tired. So, we're taking it here. Watch me. Sometimes this is called a man maker. I like to call it a woman maker, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is for you. High plank. You're here. You're gonna do row on each side, pop it in, curl, pop it back. I want you to stay down on that pop up. I don't want you going all the way back up. We're gonna keep it low, because we did enough presses. Sometimes we do a press at the top. You go at your own pace, we got one minute. So however many you get in that, you get. It's up to you. If you need to take one move out, that's okay, or walk it back, take the impact out of it. But let's finish strong, here we go. Row, row, pop it in, curl. Here we go, pop it back. Row, row, pop it in. Curl, yes, pop it back. Row, row, pop it in. And curl, Woo. yes. Whatever pace you are at, it doesn't matter. You be where you are today. Finish this bonus move strong, because everything else is gonna be down on the mat. You got 30 seconds. Wherever you are, strong row, strong pop up, heels down, and curl. Breathe, breathe, and up, yes. These are getting challenging for me too. 
Don't forget about that core. Pull everything in. Yes, 10 seconds. Can you get one more? Breathe. Yes, and relax. Good work, team. Oh, stretch it back. In fact, bring it up so we can shake up those legs. I know that was a lot, right? After those muscles are tired, grab a quick sip of water and we're gonna take it down on the mat, finishing it out strong. Whew. I'll meet you down. Okay, so we are down on the mat. Hope you had a chance to get a little sip of water and rest for just a second. I'm gonna talk you through what we're gonna do first. We're gonna start with a little bit of core. So we're gonna go all the way down. Make sure that you have a dumbbell close by because we're gonna be adding it in. So maybe one of your medium. Let's go ahead and calm down. Hug those knees in, get a little stretch through those hamstrings if you need it. And then let's start with just your regular old bicycle. So here, pull that deep core in. We're tired, so make sure you're pulling everything in and just, we're going here, side to side. Easy bicycle. Starting here and breathe, just like this. Keep it going. Twist and twist. If that feels like too much and you need to rest those shoulders for a second, you can just keep the lower or just the opposite. You can just do the upper. It's up to you. And then I want you to hold it here. So hold one side. Watch me. I'm going to dig that elbow into my leg, dig the leg into my elbow. I'm going to flex that other foot and I'm just going to lift. Eight. Keep pushing here. Seven. Six. Breathe. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Switch your sides, push it in against each other. You're getting opposing forces. Flex that foot for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep pushing, two, one, and relax. Good, breathe. I want you to take it here, grab your heavier set of dumbbells. Keep that medium just there. We're just gonna go with a super basic chest press. So we're nice and wide. We're gonna go ahead and bring those feet up to keep that core engaged. If it starts to feel like too much or you're pulling on your back, just keep those feet down. But if you can, take them here, press it up. And breathe. Good. And let's add a little bit of rotation. So watch me here. Turn your palms in, then turn them forward. In and forward and breathe can you rotate them all the way all the way if that feels weird on your elbows at all then just keep a regular chest press but if you can we're gonna get that full rotation keep that core engaged and if you want to add one more thing can you take those feet out a little bit lower that's a lot of parts so if you need to be feet out regular chest press that works or feet in with that rotation, that works too. I know we're going longer set. And breathe. Four more, pull that deep core in. Four, three, two, last one. Relax, good work, team. And breathe, I want you to open it up just like that. Stretch it over your head and roll it up to a seated position. So one dumbbell, open up that chest, get a little stretch. We're gonna stay seated nice and tall, grab one dumbbell, it's that Russian twist. So start slow, twist to the hip, center, twist to the hip. Feels like too much, same thing with no weight. If you can, little wider, little higher. Breathe, and then if you want, feet up, up. Any of those options will do, or any combination of those options. You can keep it small with the feet up. You can keep it wide with the feet down. Either way, I know those arms are tired. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
relax, stretch it over again, stretch those arms back, right? Both heavy dumbbells down onto your back. Let's take it to a bridge or a hip press, right? So we're gonna rest those dumbbells right here. It's great if you can do this elevated on a bench or a BOSU, but for now we're gonna keep it here. Rest those weights here, lift up and squeeze. I know those hamstrings have worked really hard. And breathe, because we did squats, deadlifts, swings, lunges, everything's tired. But see if you can get one last push out of those legs, then we're gonna get a good stretch. Here we go. Squeeze up and down and up. Lift, keep it going. Last four, four, three. If at any point you need to drop the weights, that's okay too, two. Hold it up, knees out. So we're going outer thighs, inner thighs. You can even move those weights a little bit on the outside if you can keep a good grip on them. Squeeze out, squeeze in. Eight, squeeze. Don't forget about core. It's working too. Breathe. Last four, four, three, two, one. Relax. Good, get a little stretch in those hamstrings. Whew. I'm adjust my microphone. Little stretch here. And then to keep getting that hamstring stretch, make sure you're grabbing the calf or the thigh. Let's take it to a scissors. I often put this right after a hamstring bridge to get the stretch, but while we can keep the core working. Check in with that core as everything pulled in nice and tight. Deep core in, breathe here to here good four three two one relax roll over to your side with that dumbbell we're coming into a side plank elbow beneath the shoulder we're gonna rest it here so you can be on the knees lifting and lowering from here or both feet or one but take it here we're just going to lift and lower if that feels like too much sometimes we feel a lot of that shoulder just do that lift knees or toes without the weight but if you can we're going to add a little extra for that oblique and breathe yes good makes it tough right four three two one rest it down same side bring that dumbbell in front we're just going to pull the elbow up towards the back and down watch me so we're going to hold it up in the side plank breathe then if you want rotate into it twist and pull pull and twist cores in tight you got this last four four Three, use those knees if you need to. Two, one, yes, relax, bring it up. I know the harder part is that shoulder that is so tired, right? Your core is working hard, but that shoulder has to support. Let's roll it through to the other side. Here we go. So we're starting with just the lift, dumbbell right on the leg. Knees can be here, you can lift and lower from here or here, here we go, up and down, up and down. Again, if it feels like too much, you can do all of this without the weight, it's okay. It's still hard enough without that, right? Or on the knee to get a little extra support for that shoulder, right? And breathe. Last four right here. Four, three, two, one more. Yes, you can rest it down. Bring that dumbbell in front. Whoo, sliding, who's with me? Bring it up, turn it in, here we go. Up and in, and if you want, rotate. You can drop those knees in between if that helps give you a little break for the shoulder. And breathe, or just turn. Last four, right here, four three, 
two, one more. Good, relax, stretch it out. I know guys, I am feeling it too. Roll back down onto your back. Let's get a little triceps. My arms are so tired. I'm gonna go with my eights, but you do what's best for you. Again, feet are in tabletop if we can keep that core engaged. If you can, keep them up. Watch me, just bending regular tricep extension. Feet down if you need that little break. I know core is tired. Bending 90 degrees, then bringing up, or a little more than 90, right? But my shoulders and elbows are staying in alignment. Core engaged if you can. And then if you want, we're gonna rotate at the top. So turn them in, turn them up. You're gonna feel the difference in those tries, right? And breathe. And then if you want and you don't have something super big that's gonna get in your way, you can turn them in. But I know that's a lot on that elbow and we did that with that front raise. So you can just keep it with the regular up to you. But if you have smaller dumbbells and that feels natural, go for it. Four, three, two, last one. Yes, relax. Drop them down, big stretch. We are so close to being done. Grab one dumbbell, keep it up top. I want you to push in, bring those feet up and just little taps, right? Little taps, push into the dumbbell. If you don't feel secure holding it up, that's okay. Then little pull over, down and up. Try to get that stretch if you can get it all the way back and you're gonna feel that pull on your core. But if you can just go here, that's okay. If you want a little more, extend it out. A little more of a single bicycle. As you pull the dumbbell on the knee and think about closing your core. Everything is pulling in. Here, knit it together. Exhale, inhale. Of course, you can drop the dumbbell like me if you want. Let's go four more. Four, close it in. Three. Two. Last one. And relax. Good. I know, guys, I know I'm tired too. Let's take it into a front plank position. Let's finish it out strong, right? All right, guys, so we are here. Whoo, high plank. Let's take it here. Watch me, nice and wide with those legs. We tuck this in so you can see. And then we've got one plank, one core move. Watch me, big circle, back to center, same side, circle. Keep it off the ground if you can. If you need to tap it down, that works too. Squeeze, four, three, two, last one. Switch your sides, circle. Opposite elbow, circling through to the other elbow. Tap it down or keep it up. Up to you, four, three, two, one. Stretch it back on your elbows, guys. Here we go. I want you to touch that hip all the way down if you can, back to center. All the way down, back to center. Here, and lift. Really lift up in the center. We're gonna keep this short because we got one more core move with the dumbbell. And breathe. Three, two, last one. Stretch. All right, guys. Last move of the day. <laughs> Grab some water because we hasn't, haven't really had that here. Woo! I think the mat portion could be its own workout, right? Okay, so half Turkish getup. Watch me first, I want you to try it without the dumbbell and then if you wanna add the dumbbell in, our arms are tired, our core is tired and it gets a little bit of legs too. So I'm gonna bend my left leg, maybe you're right, and then left arm up. So the arm that's up, is the bent leg. I'm gonna take this other arm out wide. Big deep breath, inhale, exhale, lift to my elbow, and then if I can, lift up on my hand, push up in this glute and hamstring. Slowly down, elbow, and here. One more time, watch me. Hand extended, hand up. Lift up to elbow with core, all the way up, glute and hamstring, and on this arm, then slowly down, slowly down. Try it with me, we're going eight each side and then we are done with this workout. 
If you want to do it with the dumbbell or without, either one is fine. Think about using your deep core, shoulder mobility, glutes and hamstrings at the top. Here we go. Big inhale, exhale, lift all the way up, down and down. Here we go. Up, down. If you just want to go halfway, that works too. You can just get the core, keep it here, slowly down. You're just going to elbow, lift, reach. But if you want all the way up, last four, four. Think of it as two separate parts. I don't want you to rush it. Up, full body move, right? Two, last one. Yes, relax, bring that down. Get a little hamstring stretch. We're gonna do same thing, other side. Then that is it, you guys. So, <laughs> still tucked in, right? Bend that opposite knee, other hand. Remember, you can be no weight at all. Other hand out. Eight, here we go. Big inhale, exhale to elbow. All the way up, leg and hand, slow and slow. Here we go. Down and down. If you just wanna go halfway, up to the elbow, get the core. That works too. Breathe up and down. Here we go. Yes. Good. Two more. Use that leg at the top. That's what it's for. One more. Relax, stretch it out. Woo. Good work, team. I know, right? Ha, flex, breathe. Since we're here, let's just grab one leg. Grab either the calf or the thigh, not right on the joint. Flex the foot, pull it in. Nice work, guys. That was a long workout. That was a challenging workout. Again, it's gonna feel different for everybody. For some people, it might have been really hard. Others, maybe not so much. But either way, you did it for almost an hour. Cross it over, bring it in. And if you follow me for a while, you know most of my workouts range between the 20 to 30 to 35, 40 range. So this is different. You guys have asked for this, so I've been trying to add more. But of course, if you don't have as much time, go to one of those other ones. Flex your foot and then cross it over and breathe. Relax your head, neck and shoulders. Press that knee down. Good work, team. Roll it up. I hope you're tired and sweaty like me. Fold it over, let your head drop into that. So feet can be out or in, whatever feels good to you. Inhale, exhale, head drop. And then just a few deep breaths, sink a little deeper as you go into that. There we go. Let's take those knees out, drop them to the side. Of course, be sure to check out all of my other dumbbell videos. Just because this one is called advanced, it doesn't mean that there are not others that give you options to be advanced. Again, if you've done my workouts for a while, you know that I do always give you options. So you can start at one level and if I give you options to take it up. So lots of other challenging workouts or less challenging if that's the kind of day you are having. Be where you are today. You know, I always say it. Let's take those arms to the back. Woo. Reach behind if you can. Open up that chest. Let your head drop to one side and then the other. Woo. Take it to the front, one arm across. So check out all of my other dumbbell videos as well as all the other playlists. I have no equipment, kettlebell, suspension training, bands, balls, prenatal, postnatal, lots of different options. And if you are looking for a more 
more of a schedule or a program to go along with these videos, check the links in the description below. That's where you'll find out information about my eBooks and programs. Those are just curated schedules, programs that go along with these videos. So most of them are four weeks. They give you a schedule to follow and there's lots of different options. So click that link, you'll find them all on my website as well as information about my nutrition guide. It's not a diet plan. It is a guide that gives you lots of options to build your own plate. So nothing is off limits. We're not about restrictions or counting calories. Let's go ahead and take fingertips here. Drop it down, drop your head so we get forearm, wrist, shoulder, head and neck. Uh, building a balanced plate, nutritionally balanced is what we're about, not diets or restrictions. So check that out. Let me know if you have any questions, other side. And then of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys subscribe to my channel, that helps me keep making completely free videos for you on this channel. So please subscribe and tell your friends. That helps me out and I will keep making more videos. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know as well. Turn into your mat, quick little child's pose, stretch, sit back into those hips. Whew. And breathe. And bring it up little cat to cow or cat to camel. Breathe and take it center. One big deep breath in, big reach and let it out. Let's do that one more time. Thank you so much for showing up today and doing this workout with me. That was your advanced dumbbell workout. Great job, everybody.